give God praise if he's good in your life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we stand to our feet? Hallelujah. As we sing the Black National Anthem on this morning, hallelujah. Lift every voice and sing, hallelujah. sanctuary hallelujah as we give thanks hallelujah on this morning oh, yeah. hallelujah god has been good to us on this morning hasn't he yes. hallelujah <laughs>
mothers out of respect if you need to be seated at this time you may be seated and to those with handicaps we do understand if you take your seat but God has been good to us amen and he is worthy to be praised we want to let the enemy know on this morning in case he doesn't already know that he is defeated and he has no power and he has no authority and he will not have this service on this morning in the name of Jesus let every heart pray father we come before you acknowledging you to be the almighty and the all wise God it is you that created the heavens and the earth it is you that breathed breath into the body of man and it was you God that watched over us throughout the night and you gave us grace that we may rise in the newness of your mercies if God for that we say thank you it was you oh God that called us out of sin and into the marvelous light and you filled us with the gift of the Holy Ghost calling us into new life and for that we say thank you hallelujah Lord God we thank you because you brought us over many hills and you took us through many valleys oh God and for that we say thank you God it was you that touched our bodies and you healed us and for that we say thank you God it was you that made ways out of no ways and for that we say thank you God when we were in need and there was a lack you were Jehovah Jireh and you provided for us and God for that we say thank you so God while we're in your sanctuary we're going to give you the glory and we're going to give you the honor we will not be silent on this morning but we're going to step out of ourselves and we're going to glorify it and we're going to acknowledge you as the true and living God you are the one oh God that said let there be and there was you are the God that parted the Red Sea and we went over on dry land and God you are that God oh God that hung the stars in space and you commanded the land to roll back from the sea you are that same God that was with Shadrach Meshach and Abednego in the fire you were with Daniel in the lion's den and you that same God that with us now and God we thank you hallelujah because the flood didn't overtake us and we called the devil a liar on this morning uh, we call him a liar uh, and we render him helpless on this morning uh, and we take back joy uh, we take back strength uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, and this house is blessed uh, save on this morning uh, deliver on this morning uh, set free on this morning uh, oh God in the name of Jesus uh, bless your man servant uh, bless the choir uh, bless the musicians uh, bless the mothers bless the young people bless the house in the mighty name of Jesus go out over the airways go out into the hospitals oh God touch oh God in the mighty name of Jesus and we'll be ever so careful to give your name the glory and to give your name the honor it is in Jesus name that we pray and we give thanks and we say amen and amen come on put your hands together and give God some praise on this morning Satan is defeated and God is exalted Satan is defeated and God is exalted hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord a very quick scripture to be read into your hearing coming from Exodus 14 Exodus 14 and 14 and it reads the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace I'll read it again the Lord shall fight for you let it sit in your spirit and you shall hold your peace the Lord shall fight for you and you should hold your peace before you take your seat just look at somebody and tell them we win we win we win we win I'm in the winner's circle because the Lord is fighting for me. God bless you and welcome to the live stream coming from the sanctuary of Refuge Temple. Go ahead, turn up the volume and let's have church.
sufficient. His grace is sufficient. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. Just be patient. Just be patient. And wait on Jesus. Just wait on Jesus. It's already done. Hold on. 
trust them. I trust them. I trust them. I trust them.
everybody the Lord. if the Lord has been good to you I dare you yeah. to do something yeah. Yeah. is that the best you can do seated I need you to do something just find about two or three people and just tell them the Jesus in me loves the Jesus in you oh, the Jesus, the Jesus. 
Jesus in me, that's the Jesus in you. That's Jesus in me, that's the Jesus in you. Glory be to signs shall all men know that you are my disciples that you will have love one towards another praise the lord refuge praise the lord refuge praise the lord refuge anybody got a praise in their heart give god your best praise right about now we magnify the name of the Lord. We thank him for his traveling mercy. We thank him for all of the great things that he's done in our lives. We praise God for each and every one of you that have taken time out of your schedule to come to Refuge Temple here at 4450 Argent Court. And for each and every one of you that have tuned in via live stream, that are watching through Facebook Live, and those that are watching through YouTube, amen. We say to you, the God we serve is great. He's a great, great God. I don't care what the enemy throws at you, God is still great. Anybody been through some storms and some tests this week? Anybody been through some stuff that should have stopped you from coming to church today? But you're here anyhow? I dare you to give him a thank you praise. Because you're going to take something out of here with you. See, you know what? I think it's I think it's interesting that we wait for somebody else to praise him first before we give God a praise. But you have to look back down deep inside yourself. You could have been cuckoo this week. You could have had a cigarette in your hand and on your way to a devil's hell. But God has been good to you. You ought to tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I praise you. Turn with me to the uh, book of Daniel, chapter number 10. Hallelujah. We begin our reading at verse 12 and end it at the end of verse 13. Men in the 13, Daniel chapter 10, beginning at verse 12 and ending at the conclusion of verse 13. Reading both the King James and the Message Version today. The King James Version said, Then he said unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou hast said, said of thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before the God, thy words were heard yes. 
and I have come for thy word. But lo, Michael, the one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remained there with the king of Persia. Let's read that same text coming from the message version. It says, relax, Daniel. He continued, don't be afraid. From the moment that you decided to humble yourself in res to receive understanding, your prayer was heard. And I sent out to come to you, but awaited that the angel, the prince of the kingdom of Persia, it was delayed for a good three weeks. But then Michael, one of the chief angels and princes, intervened to help me and to let them which were of the princes of the kingdom of Persia. And now I am there to help you understand what will eventually happen to your people. The vision has, now, vision has to do with what's ahead. Look at somebody and just repeat these words to them and say, relax. Yes. The answer is on the way. Yes. Relax. Yes. The answer is on the way. Relax. Yes. The answer is on the way. Um, this is one of those interesting stories. I have been kind of looking and digging through the, the book of Daniel and, uh, for the last few weeks, and it has been amazing to me to understand uh, there's so much meat in it. In chapter 6, when you begin to read about it and see that uh, this old man, this man Daniel, that has grown old because he stood up for what God has called him to do, found himself being thrown into a lion's den. It is amazing that in a society in which we live in today, we have so many individuals that are struggling with the truth. Amen. They don't want to accept the truth that the Holy Ghost is still right. Amen. There's only one way to heaven. Amen. There's not a whole bunch of other ideas. When we are bickering and fighting and trying to prove ourselves to be more superior biblically than anyone else, but yet and still we're not living the life. The life that calls us to be holy. Walk in his anointing. Doesn't matter who likes you, who doesn't like you, you just want to be holy. I want to wake up in his anointing. I want to go to sleep in his arms. Amen. I want to walk around talking about Jesus. All of the thoughts that the enemy has to throw at me, I want to have shields up that prevents it from coming to my mind. I know that the battlefield is in my mind. I understand that I have to bring my mind into subjection to the will of God. That's hard for us because we love what we do. We love pleasing this flesh in which we live live in. There's a battle that's been going on. It's been going on for years and for centuries. Amen. There's a battle that's not over your health. It's not about how healthy you are. It's not over how much money you have in your pocket. You could be a billionaire like so many of these men that are coming out today that have found themselves in a position where millions of dollars have been put into their heart. But what shall it profit a man to gain this world? And to turn around and lose his soul. The battle is not over your wealth. It's not even over your possessions. It's not about the car you drive. It's not about the clothing you wear. It's not about the design of fragrances that you put on. It's not the possessions that you have on a regular basis. But it's over your soul. Amen. Now, maybe I did not say that right. Maybe I should have said it another way. It's over your soul. Amen. Maybe I didn't say it enough for you to understand. It's over over your soul. You must understand that when you begin to look at the book of Genesis and see in chapter 1 that the earth was without form and void and darkness sat upon the deep of it. Amen. There was a direct effect of this. Something happening when you begin to look at the book of Isaiah chapter 14 somewhere around verses 20, 12 through 23 you will see that there were some struggles that were going on even in heaven. Amen. There were some individuals that came trying to be like God. 
wanting to be like him, wanting to operate like him. Amen. He finds himself trying to challenge God. Amen. They wanted to be like, they wanted the authority that God had. But this is the same God that went out into nothing, into the simpleness of space that was totally dark and black. Amen. Did not have a blueprint, did not have some papers that would show how he could put it together did not have an architect that understood the symbols and shapes and sizes and turns and ships in order to create something out of nothing. But all God does is come out into darkness and speaks. He just simply says, let there be. Oh my God, and there was. I want to stop here just for a moment because I understand something now that I did not understand that the same authority that God had in the beginning, God has placed into us. That when we open our mouths, we ought to speak it in the name of Jesus. And if it is in the will of God, it will happen. Somebody ought to scream, let there be healing. Let there be a breakthrough. Let there be an anointing. You ought to open it up out of your mouth. For out of your mouth comes life and death. Is in the power of the tongue. Oh, y'all pray for me just for a few more minutes and I will let you go. Here it is. We find that there was a struggle. There was a difficulties that we're dealing with in the stratosphere. Amen. I believe that was the first Star Wars that had ever come. There was some fighting going on. It, it was over you. Amen. It was over me. Here it is. Lucifer, you know him, that preacher. Amen. That was beautiful beyond measure. He was cast out and he falls to earth causing the world to plunge into darkness and despair amen not only you could see it as he begins to seep and fall darkness covers the face of the earth everywhere you took there was darkness the principles of power the rulers of the darkness of the world and the spiritual wickedness in high places he began to operate amen there was no more dominion over that and what happens is God finds himself coming because sin was offered up and brought into this world amen we understand that there are weapons that are used to defeat us and weapons that are used to cause us to lose. Amen. The weapons of the enemy is delay. That simple word, D-L-A-Y. Amen. There it is. It causes us to come to time. Or, or it comes on the time because it doesn't mean that we don't care. But we don't want to wait on anything. Amen. We want to move and have it right now. If, if I look at this we understand it more and more amen I grew up in an age and in a time just and you've heard me talk about this before amen that mama would cook rice amen she would get a pot she would get that Carolina rice and she would pour it into the pot and wash it off she would rinse it a couple of times and drain it amen and then she would put it on the stove and place it there amen and she would put the pot on a certain temperature and the rice would begin to cook all of the water would begin to boil out of it and when the rice had already let the water boil out of it she then turned the pot down to simmer until the rice grains began to separate amen and she took it out before the blackness or the burnt part would happen on the bottom amen and this is how we learned how to cook rice amen but in today's society uncle Ben's has a product that all he does is pull back the tab and you can stick it into the microwave and 90 seconds later you can have rice and beans amen because we're in a society if I can talk 
that wants everything right now we want deliverance right now we want money right now we want a husband a boyfriend right now there's nothing that we want to do that we're not prepared to wait on it but I read somewhere that they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength there's something about waiting on God that when he does it even in the moment of delay he's right on time amen look at somebody touch him on the shoulder and say look at me it may look like he's late but he's still on time Lord have mercy here today I praise him because I'm feeling it in my anointed body that the God I serve has seen how long you've been waiting and I dare you to scream at somebody my waiting is over I feel a praise getting ready to happen in here amen that weapon of delay they use it to kind of stop the people and to stop the movement of God amen and then there's something that we don't want to realize or deal with the other word that I want to use is deceit uh, amen it begins to operate on us uh, amen lies and false hope uh, amen deceit uh, amen it begins to come uh, and the devil don't care who he uses uh, amen to be deceitful uh, they'll smile in your face uh, but every time they want to take your place uh, the backstabbers uh, amen how in the world uh, amen can you say you love God uh, but hate me uh, and hate your brothers it's a plan of God uh, I feel like teaching for a moment huh? I'm tired of the saints huh? talking about church hurt huh? the church ain't never hurt nobody huh? it's the demon of flesh huh? that demon that has come in and operated huh? that is trying to bring confusion huh? to the body of Christ huh? but I need a powerful few huh? that will say in the name of Jesus huh? we bind up that thought huh? we bind up that time uh, that is trying to come in uh, and destroy the house uh, because we are the people of God uh, here it is we understand uh, that there is false hope uh, amen there's things that we've been wrestling with uh, amen we're wrestling with listening uh, to everything everybody else is saying uh, amen but the devil is a liar uh, the God I trust is a good God uh, he's never failed me yet uh, amen he's not a liar uh, whatever he promises uh, has to come to pass Amen. I gave you to give God a praise for not ever lying to you. That filling you with his gift of the Holy Ghost. I dare you to give him a praise. The third word. Can I just take my time? The third word is distraction. Amen. Distraction. Amen. How many of you have ever been distracted while you're driving? Lord have mercy. Stop the car. Distraction is a component that we're all wrestling with. Distraction. Amen. Uh, I can say it loud now that I, I have to be one of those individuals and I happen to be one of those individuals that have to consistently and constantly be focused on something because if I'm not focused on it the enemy will deal with my mind and make me think of other things now I'm just testifying about me I'm not telling you about you. you. You've got it made. You are perfect in everything that you do. You never make mistakes. But I am wrestling with distraction. Trying to stay focused on what God is doing. Because the enemy is so busy trying to take the fine set of, out of my mind and make me think of only the things that he's got planned for us. Distraction. Amen, is that thing that's broken focus. Amen, a goal is the enemy is to attack us. 
Can I talk for a while? You all been shouting all month long. Pastor Reed is back. You got to be focused. And the only way that you can stay focused is in the Word of God. That's the only thing that's going to help you to overcome your problems, your situations, your things that you're dealing with. You've got to believe that God can bring you out of it. Anybody need help on that today? Anybody will be honest enough to say, I need God to help me. Because if he doesn't help me, I'm going to go back to where I used to be. I need focus. That seems to be a difficult component now. We don't want to focus. We can focus on the game later on today, but I think I'm going to preach till the game is over. <laughs> Y'all didn't like that. Uh, <laughs> Y'all want some wings. <laughs> Here it is, destruction. And then, that's, let's look at it again. We're dealing with some words. We're dealing with delay. We're dealing with deceit. We're dealing with distraction. And number four, here's a big one. We're dealing with disappointment. Anybody ever been disappointed? Anybody say, I don't know why. Why it happened. <laughs> Bless her, Jesus. Here it is. Disappointment. How does it make you feel? But the one thing that I remember is that even if God doesn't give it to me now, he has something better that he's ready to give me. The things that we think are great and marvelous, God has something better for us. Look at somebody say, I'm looking for the better. Uh, I, I'm looking for the better. Oh God, I'm looking for the better. I want more, more, more of him. I want more of him. Amen. Not only are you dealing with the disappointment of yourselves, you're dealing with the disappointment of friends and people. Amen. Folks that you've counted on to be there for you. They find themselves hurting your feelings. Amen. And instead of you just trusting God, you find a way to retaliate because they've hurt you. Amen. I don't care who you are, no matter how much you live on this earth, there's going to be disappointment coming your way. Even Have you ever wondered why you pay and don't immediately see the results? You pray. How it is in the way is that when you look at it, there's times that you pray, pray, and you don't automatically see results at that point in time. Amen. The scriptures and the angel of Daniel told him that from the first moment that you prayed, your prayers were heard. Amen. Well, but when the angel was released, he held him up, amen, by the prince of Persia. Amen. That we are wrestling a demon spirit, a principality, which talks about it in Ephesians chapter 6. That there is some warfare that's going on around us, in us, and through us. And every place that we go, we're dealing with it. Not only has the angel been held up for some days, but he has put to, has gotten together, amen, and gotten Michael, which is one of the archangels of war, to assist in the struggle. I want you to understand that God has already dispatched, amen, your answer. But the enemy does not want you to give God the praise because he wants you to doubt to whether or not it's coming. Amen. We've been dancing. We've been praising God. We've been shouting. Amen. We've been dealing with our own emotions and our own thoughts and feelings. But I've come to tell you that God has begun to answer your request. Amen. Over the last 21 days of fasting and praying that we have done, ultimately, ultimately concluding at the end of January 28th, amen, we danced and we gave God glory. 
Amen. But I'm here to tell you, some of you have not received what God has promised you yet. But I'm coming to tell you that it's on the way and it's already here. Amen. The God we serve is about to open up the doors and pour you out a blessing. Amen. I'm telling you that there's some struggling. Let us know that the prince of the air is the place that what Satan has himself come to understand and tried to block our prayers and tried to stop us from doing what God has entitled for us to do. But I've come to just give you a few words. I'm not going to preach for a whole long time, but I just came to give you a few words. And the first word is relax. Amen. It's not for you to worry. And it's not for you to complain. It's not for you to think that the God you serve has forgotten about you. But what I've come to let you know that God, he cannot lie. Amen. He said it from the beginning of the word. He said before one jot or tittle of the word of God should fail. Amen. That heaven and earth would pass away. But I'm here to tell you there's a reason why God has kept you. There's a reason why you haven't gone to an early grave. It's a reason that the God I serve has not forgotten about you. Yes, you've been struggling and you've been straining and you've been going through a lot of hell. Yes, you feel like throwing in the towel. Yes, the enemy is trying to make you sin on a regular basis. But somewhere God is keeping you. Somewhere he's holding your hand and watching you as you go through your storms and he said I'll be with you even to the ends of the world the God I serve has about to move on you I've come to give you a word and it simply says relax don't worry about how much hell you're going through don't worry about how difficult it looks don't worry about the pain you're going through because the God I serve has work for you to do in the last couple of weeks you don't know my story how the enemy tried to take me out while I was driving down the highway how my car started drifting how I almost fell asleep behind the car wheel but God said it's not his time amen the God I serve is a great God he's a God that never loses uh, and he's already made a way for you. Uh, yes, the enemy tried to bring sickness uh, into my body uh, but the Bible said the effectual prayer uh, of the righteous uh, availeth much. Uh, I had to lay my hands on myself uh, and say by his stripes uh, I'm healed. Uh, Y'all don't know my story. Uh, Y'all don't know the hell that I've been through uh, but I'm here to praise him I'm here to open up my mouth and tell you relax the God I serve is about to open up a door for you I know I'm not the only one that has been suffering here I know I'm not the only one that the enemy is trying to talk to you your finances are running low amen you don't know how you're going to pay your bills but the God I say so don't worry I own the cattle on a thousand hills everything I have I will it to you everything I have I give it to you in the name of the Lord I know you got some problems I know you have some stuff that is trying to hinder your mind where the devil is trying to distract you but I've come with a powerful anointing that says it's all right now you got to learn to praise him through the hard times you got to learn to praise him through the difficult times you got
got to learn to praise him uh, through the spirit of loneliness. Uh, you got to learn to praise him uh, when hell is all around you uh, and you don't know where you go. Uh, I trust in God uh, no matter where I be uh, on mountain peaks uh, or even on the stormy sea. Uh, and will pillows roll. Uh, I keep it low. Uh, I trust in God. Uh, I praise his name. I glorify him. I magnify him. I feel like praising him. I need about 10 people that say it with me. Relax. It's all over. I dare you to scream it out. Relax. The God I serve is about to make it happen. Relax. And God will open up a door. I want you to get so relaxed that all you can do is pat your feet. I want you to get so relaxed uh, that all you can do is wave your hand. Uh, I want you to get relaxed uh, that automatically uh, something from the bottom of your feet uh, will make its way up to your lungs uh, and come out your mouth uh, and say thank you Lord. Uh, thank you for opening doors. Uh, thank you Lord uh, for healing my body. Uh, thank you Lord. Uh, for keeping me the devil can't stop me the enemy can't prevent me I'm on assignment and God said praise me through the hell and high water praise me through the difficult times praise me when your boo leaves you praise me when you don't have no more money praise me when all you can do is lift up your hands unto the Lord and tell him thank you I need a praiser in here that don't mind giving God a praise one days were not easy this year maybe I'm the only one that it was rough on 21 days was difficult for me and normally amen I could go through it with no problem I tell you what I've been doing all these times that y'all gone for 21 days the last three days of it, I've been gone absolute. I've been not eating anything, drinking water. Not, I wasn't drinking water. I wasn't even drinking water. I wasn't doing anything but praying and fasting. But the enemy attacked me at the end of it. No. Maybe I'm the only one. Maybe I'm the only one. He didn't attack me like I guess he would normally try to do. He didn't attack me like that. He, you know what the enemy did? He tried to make me suspicious of everything. That, did, did that make sense? How suspicious? Somebody gave me a bottle of water. I tested it to see if it had been open. Suspicious. Everything that people said to me, I took it with a grain of salt. I walked away. I got to the point where I just didn't answer nobody call. Back that I didn't trust you, I was wrestling with some stuff. I saw where God was taking me 
And in my fear of my mind, I kept saying that if you take me there, it's going to cause me more problems. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If God takes me there and he does what he promises he's going to do for me, folk ain't going to like me. I like being liked. I'm being honest. I, I'm being honest with you. I like being liked. Because I love you. And some of the stuff that you do, I tell the Lord, Lord, I didn't sow that seed. I don't know why it's showing up here. I didn't sow that seed. So why is it coming forth and materializing in my garden? When I didn't plant it in my garden. Can I talk just for a while? There it is. You on radio landing outside. Come to the house real quick and you can hear the rest of the message. Here it is. You have to understand that the enemy does not care who he uses you. Who he uses to get you to become distracted from your goal. I should say it this way, to become distracted from...